Reset. Congratulations. Keep crushing it. I'm here to vlog today and I'm here to be right there with you because we're gonna keep pushing through and we're gonna keep going. So good morning. I hope everybody is having a fabulous day. I am here to get the vlog started. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, hello, welcome to my little community here. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, travel content, all that fun stuff. And I would love to have you join our little community. So welcome. To bring you up to speed, I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia in one plan and if you don't know what Optavia is I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below feel free to send questions my way basics of the program is you eating five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day all spaced out by two to three hour increments and that is what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health plan so welcome to another episode of my Schlee's health journey series <laughs> We're also documenting adventures from A to Z, where my boyfriend Zach and I are currently spending some time traveling the country place to place, spending a couple months at a time in each place, kind of just exploring the world, seeing what it has to offer us, and seeing kind of what we like. We want to figure out where we want to move at some point. So this has been really fun, just kind of settling in each place for a little bit of time. We left from Denver. We're currently here in Phoenix, Arizona in our Airbnb for a couple months, and we will keep you guys in the loop where we head next. But stay tuned, because we'll be documenting the whole way. And I do have new vlogs going live every night this month for my 30 day healthy reset going live at seven o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So make sure you are subscribed, click that notification bell below so that you never miss it and tune in because we've got lots of things going on here. So I'm here to get this vlog started. Thank you so much for joining me. I am having fueling number two already. I already had fueling number one, which was my golden chocolate chip pancake. Love that so much. And having my coffee. I have not finished this yet, but I'm having cold brew with a little bit of nut pods. I do three tablespoons of the caramel nut pods for one condiment. No, nut pods and almond milk in my coffee is not my favorite thing, but I'm getting used to it and I'm finding a way because it is the healthiest option. So that's what I'm doing for my coffee these days. I'm gonna go ahead and have fueling number two which is my creamy chocolate shake. I literally just mixed this in my shaker with water and I have already filled out my fueling tracker for today. Shout out to everybody who is doing this with me. You guys are crushing it. And if you guys didn't see my vlog yesterday, I went over on my healthy fats. I'm like literally so embarrassed that that happened. I don't even know how it happened. It's just because I think I got a little lax on actually filling this out throughout the day. In the beginning, I was filling it out after every single time I ate, but sometimes I would eat a few things and then like kind of catch up on what I was filling out and I must have, I must have messed up my tracking because I ended up with two healthy fats instead of one. So today I am tracking after every single fueling and every single thing that I eat so that I can make sure that never happens again. That was so embarrassing. I'm so sorry that that happened. But 
I'm here to do this with you guys. I'm here to keep rocking and rolling, continuing on this day. And today we have something super fun happening for my Lean and Green meal. We are going to be trying out a new recipe. Literally never made it before, but we're gonna try it together and see what it tastes like. I just have one ingredient that I'm waiting on. It's coming in the mail from Amazon today. And as soon as it gets here, we're gonna make that recipe on camera and try it out together. So I will keep you guys in the loop on that. I am going to be getting some editing done this morning, head to the gym, take you guys along the journey with me on that. But fueling number two, creamy chocolate shake. I will probably check back in with you guys for fueling number three and let's get started. Why you wanna let me go na na now? Are you saying that to change your mind? For love or pity, let me know na na now. Cause you love back from the gym and it is the moment we have all been waiting for at least the moment I've been waiting for <laughs> so today's lean and grain is going to be really exciting <laughs> and mostly exciting for me because I think I've shared with you guys before, prior to me starting this 30 day healthy reset, my biggest thing that I was doing when we were eating out because we were celebrating and we were having fun, just getting to Phoenix and starting this new life and all that fun stuff. So when we were celebrating, the biggest thing I would get when we would go out to eat was like a really good salad. And I will say my go-to salad is a Caesar salad. I love a Caesar salad. I, I will say, it, the traditional Caesar salad has a hint of anchovy in it. I'm not down for that. That's actually really gross. I'm talking more the Caesar that's like closer to ranch, but like has a little bit of like herb vinaigrette like vibe to it. So that's what I kind of look for. And I found some pretty bomb Caesar salads when I was eating out, but they weren't exactly on plan. So <laughs> that was the thing that I was going for. And like I've said in the past, I mean, the younger me and the me that struggled with her weight her entire life, never in a million years did I think I was gonna be excited about a salad. <laughs> like salad sounded absolutely disgusting. I don't know who would ever want to eat that. And I thought everybody who ate salads were nuts. But now that I'm grown up and experiencing salads with a new perspective, they can be really delicious. And I feel like anybody who has been on plan or has been living kind of a healthy lifestyle for a while, you know that there are some pretty bomb salads out there. But I have yet to really dabble myself in creating salads from home that are Optavia approved. And I didn't wanna miss out. I didn't wanna like miss my salads from the restaurants that we were going to previously. I wanted to find a way to recreate some of them at home, to feel like I never was deprived, to feel like I could always have a good salad even from home. So that is exactly what we're gonna be doing today. And I have no idea if it's gonna work out. <laughs> I've like literally never made this salad before. I just kind of was doing some research the other night and trying to figure out like what ways I could make it taste the way that I'm trying to make it taste and what could count as a condiment and what could count as a healthy fat and like all these different kinds of things. And I think I came up with a way to make an Optavia approved Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad. So I have no idea if this is going to work, but we're going to kind of test it out today and see if it does. And if it does, I feel like this is going to be like a household favorite for me because I can literally just make it from home. And the key tool that I purchased just to make sure that my salad turned out like a restaurant style salad are salad scissors. You can get these off Amazon and they literally just work like this like their salad chop and toss scissors. And I've heard that if you have the right salad scissors, it means that you can make a salad from home and toss it together and chop it together and it tastes like it's from a restaurant. So here's hoping. I don't know if any of this is gonna work out, but I'm excited to try it out with you guys today. We are gonna be making an Optavia approved Caesar salad. I'm excited to try it. It's gonna be my lean and green for today and I will show you guys how I make it as we go to see if it's good and let's get started. Okay, here's the bowl I'm gonna be using for today's salad. This was literally just at our Airbnb, but I wanna use just a decent sized bowl because I am gonna be having a lot of lettuce in here. So 
Here's our bowl. Then if you guys watched my grocery haul yesterday, you'll know that all these ingredients were in there. I got most of these from Target, some of them from Fry's, but we're gonna be using romaine lettuce today and we're gonna be using three cups of romaine. So three cups of romaine is gonna count as three greens for our lean and green meal. So all of our greens are gonna be right here in our romaine lettuce. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out three cups and put it right into my bowl and start there. Okay, here is our romaine lettuce, three cups of romaine for three greens. Next up, we need to go ahead and add our chicken. So, I always want a good chicken Caesar salad. I never just want Caesar, I always wanna add chicken. So, earlier today, I did prep my chicken ahead of time. I made a full pack of chicken just in a saute pan. I literally just used spray olive oil. That was it. I used one of these thin sliced chicken breast packs from Target and I just did a full one on the stove and it made all of this chicken that I cut up in strips so that whenever I make a salad this week, I can literally just throw this right in. So for our lean of our lean and green meal today, we're gonna be using this grilled chicken breast and I need six ounces cooked. So let me grab my kitchen scale. I'm gonna set it down here, put my bowl on top, turn it on, and we're gonna be weighing in ounces on our scale. If you guys don't have a kitchen scale, I will link this down below so you can make sure you have one. But now that my bowl's on top, I'm gonna add in six ounces of my grilled chicken breast. Okay, six ounces on the dot, and all of my chicken is right in my bowl. This is what it looks like. Now for what I believe to be the most crucial part of this recipe, the dressing. Okay, so here is my plan for the dressing. So generally when you look at the Optivia healthy fats list, you can see that the most amount of dressing you can really use for one healthy fat is two tablespoons. And I will tell you right now, I have a feeling two tablespoons is not gonna go very far on this salad. <laughs> like I don't think that's gonna be very good. So what I have decided in my head is to kind of concoct my own dressing for this. So because we chose chicken, which is in the leaner category of the lean and green list, it means we get to add one healthy fat. And then obviously if you guys are using condiments during your day, you get to use three condiments that are optional, only three if not less. So we're gonna be using one healthy fat and one condiment for this dressing. So I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm gonna take out a smaller bowl and I'm gonna create my own dressing for my salad. So number one for my healthy fat, I'm gonna be using the Wishbone Light Creamy Caesar Dressing. And two tablespoons of this counts as one healthy fat for my day. I will say this was kind of hard to find. I could not find it at any of the stores that I was looking at, but I did find it on Amazon. So I'll link this down below. If you guys can't find this either, just make sure that you're using your base as a Caesar dressing that is on the healthy fat list. Two tablespoons counts as one healthy fat. So I'm gonna do one. And two. Then to add in a little bit more dressing, I'm gonna be using one condiment. And the condiment I'm gonna use is Walden Farms ranch dressing. So Walden Farms, two tablespoons of any of their Walden Farms syrups or dressings is gonna count as one condiment. There is a Walden Farms Caesar dressing. I couldn't find it anywhere. Like I think it might be on Amazon, but it wouldn't come until like December this year, which was ridiculous. So I went ahead and chose the ranch. The ranch I'm sure is gonna be very comparable, but if you can find the Caesar, great. Two tablespoons of my ranch Walden Farms is gonna be one condiment. This literally has like nothing in it, no sugar, no nothing. So I'm gonna mix two tablespoons of this with my two tablespoons of my Caesar. I'm gonna do one. and two. I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm gonna mix these together. And now this is gonna be the dressing for my Caesar salad. This is more the amount that I'm normally used to and this should be able to cover everything in our salad. Two tablespoons wasn't gonna be enough. So this is one condiment and one healthy fat over my Caesar salad. So I'm gonna pour this right over the top 
Okay, okay, this is coming together. I'm excited. You guys have literally never made this before, so I'm hoping this is really good. All right, last but not least, it would not be a Caesar salad without a little bit of Parmesan right on top. And I got fancy Parmesan because I could not resist, but I literally bought shaved Parmesan to put right over the top. One tablespoon of Parmesan is gonna count as one condiment. Keep in mind, you do not have to add this, but I, I wanted to make this authentic. I wanted to make this as close of a Caesar salad as I could, minus the croutons. So one tablespoon of my shaved Parmesan right over the top, and this is gonna be delicious. Also just realized, I think I'm gonna add this after I chop my salad a little bit. So we'll throw this over the top right at the end. So I'm gonna take my salad toss and chops. I found this literally on Amazon. This came highly recommended and I'm supposed to be able to just toss this and chop it with these scissors. And it's supposed to be like restaurant quality. So let's see how it works. All right, looks like we are tossed and chopped. I think we did a pretty good job of mixing everything together. And now I'm just gonna add on one tablespoon of my shaved Parmesan. Looking pretty good. I feel like this is gonna be delicious. I am so excited to have a salad that I can make from home and love. So let's give it a taste and see if it's good. All right, that was my full vision behind a Caesar salad from home. Optavia approved chicken Caesar salad. This is going to count as one full lean and green with your healthy fat and two condiments. So I'm excited to try it. I'm really hoping this is all that I dreamt of it to be. So let's test it out. I'm gonna see if I can get everything in one bite just to like get the full effect. Okay, I've got lettuce, dressing, chicken, and Parmesan all in one bite. Let's see if it's good. I would say that is pretty darn close. Oh my gosh. This is good. Oh man. There is dressing on every bite, you guys. That was like my biggest concern. I was like, I am not gonna be able to get two tablespoons of dressing to get me a Caesar salad. <laughs> like there is no way, but you can see in here, there is dressing on every bite and not too much dressing. Like it's not like doused in dressing, but it is on every bite. Like. Look at that, it looks so good. And I prepped the chicken ahead of time today so that it was cold because warm chicken on a Caesar is okay, but it's a little better if the whole thing is cold. Mmm, I think we have a winner, you guys. This is pretty good. This is so easy. I can literally just whip this up. As long as I have the scissors, I can just whip this up during the day. And this is super simple. I just have to have the lettuce in the fridge and the chicken prepped. Yay, I'm so glad this worked. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you should have seen me like super late at night the other night. I was like, how can I make an Optavia Caesar salad? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad this is good. Does that not look good? Like it looks like a restaurant salad. Like it's pretty darn good. All right, I'm sold. I'm excited. I am gonna go ahead and finish my lean and green because I would say this is a success. Highly recommend the salad scissors if you guys don't have these and then make sure you're just getting the right dressings. Very, very important that you get those, but other than that, good to go. I will probably do a full recipe video on this um, just so it's easily findable on YouTube, but I would say this is a success. I am excited. I'm gonna go eat my Caesar, and I didn't even have to go to a restaurant for it, and yeah. I'm gonna go eat my lean and green and I will check back in with you guys probably for fueling number four and we'll keep on going. Oh, would you call me on my sins? You think that you're under my skin. I just wanna wake up in my bed alone. Oh no, I don't wanna be tucked in someone else's arms. I will close my door cause I need my time. Wanna speak so loud even though I hide Like I'm hypnotized, can't get out of here You don't know me, I just need my time, yeah But they 
end of the day. End of day 16 of my 30 day healthy reset. I am just eating my fifth and final fueling right now. This is the chocolate fudge pudding. If you guys did not watch last night's vlog, it was a total fail. I had like warm pudding and it was gross. I made it right this time and it is the perfect temperature. So I'm having my last fueling right here, chocolate fudge pudding, beyond delicious. If you have not tried the pudding yet, I highly recommend. It took me a long time to actually take the plunge for eating the pudding and uh, definitely wish I had tried it way sooner. Super good. So anyway, rounding out the night, finished up my entire fueling tracking. You guys, I am still so stunned by how good that Caesar salad was, like literally. I posted it on my stories right after I had made it and everybody reached out and they were like, what? That looks so good. So I'm excited to share this with everybody because this is a game changer. Like I've been waiting for a really good Caesar salad. So that was amazing. I'm excited for people to try that out. And that actually brings me to my next question. Really quick, I would absolutely love to know if you guys could comment down below what kind of videos do you wanna see? Are there certain recipes you're looking for? Certain fueling hacks? What kind of content do you guys wanna see? Because we still have a few days left in this 30 day healthy reset and I've got some ideas on what I wanna film for you guys, certain things that I wanna share, new ideas that have come my way, but I'd love to know from you, what do you wanna see for the rest of the 30 day healthy reset? What do you wanna see as far as recipes go, ways to make your program easier, make your program better, motivation, stuff like that. So love to know, comment down below. Done with my fueling tracker for today. I used all three condiments because my salad did have two condiments and then my healthy fat was my Caesar dressing and then I did have the nut pods for my third condiment. I will say I'm doing pretty darn good on water this week. I have been going over my water. I just haven't been tracking it. But I think I'm gonna add additional glasses here because I've gotten in the habit of just having water more and more regularly and I'm very much surpassing my 64 ounces a day. And especially since I've been waking up and just chugging a full bottle of water in the morning, that just like kicks it off with a bang. I will say just as a really quick tip for anybody who's just getting on program and really struggling with water intake, you just gotta fight through it in the beginning because if you don't like water, if you just decide, like at the beginning of your plan, I am just deciding that I'm going to only drink water, like as opposed to anything else throughout the day. You can have coffee in the morning, but then just make this decision that on this plan, you are only drinking water. Like anytime you're thirsty, you grab water. And I'm telling you, within the first like three days, I would say, maybe less, your body's gonna start craving it. Like you're gonna get thirsty and your body's gonna be like, where's the water? Like literally, you don't realize how much your body really genuinely wants and needs that until you start giving it to it. And it's like, oh my God, I just always need water all the time. And so it's easier and easier to hit your goals because you're just always drinking water anytime you're thirsty. Like as I'm talking to you right now, I can tell that I want some more water <laughs> because I'm talking about it and like I'm thirsty. So. Anyway, I, that's my biggest tip for anybody who's struggling with water intake. Just force yourself to do it for a few days because it will become routine. Your body will start asking for it and you just gotta give it to it. So highly recommend getting your water in from for the first few days and it'll become a habit. So I am done for the night. I'm gonna be signing off. I will be checking in with you guys for the morning time. Tomorrow is Thursday. We've got some fun calls going on. I've got some content to film, all that kind of stuff. And I'm excited to do it with you guys too. So I am going to finish up fueling number five. I will check back in with you guys tomorrow for day 17 of my 30 day healthy reset. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I have new videos going live every night this month and I would absolutely love for you to tune in. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.